Well, folks, today we're back talking about Nintendo Switch 2 and Mario Wonder because we have some interesting news and, I guess, rumors, obviously, surrounding Switch 2 and news when it comes to Mario Wonder. I'm really excited to bring this stuff to you today because I love uh, keeping you updated on the latest going on in regards to Nintendo's upcoming hardware and, obviously, what's going on today with their current games, their most current being Mario Wonder, which had a pretty impressive sales debut, and we're going to get into that. We're also going to deep dive a little bit into a brand new game coming to Nintendo Switch 2, <gasps> along with a smidge more information, or at least rumors, on things from a fairly reliable place. Now, before we dive in, I just want to remind you, we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate it if you would drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and why not ring -a -ling that ding -a -ling to be notified of all future uploads. The first thing we need to talk about is something brought up by Necro Felipe Lima. He is the owner, I think, or at lead editor anyways, at Universo Nintendo, a Brazilian Nintendo outlet, but he's actually had a lot of things tied to him over the last couple of years that really proved to be correct. So we do pay some attention to him and he's pretty well respected, at least here among, you know, United States fans anyways. I have no idea in Brazil, I don't live there. Let's dive into what he said over on X because it's some pretty interesting stuff, especially in regards to a brand new game. When asked if Grand Theft Auto 6 is coming to Nintendo Switch 2, Necro Felipe Lima simply responded with, yes. Now, this is obviously a really big deal. Switch never got Grand Theft Auto 5, but we did end up getting the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Remaster 1, 2, and 3, although that was kind of a hot mess. It was a hot mess on a lot of platforms, just even worse on Switch. I don't want to dive into that because we own that here. Like, we bought that copy because Yulia really wanted to play Grand Theft Auto 1, 2, and 3, and frankly, she's very, very disappointed with a lot of the bugs, and usually she wouldn't care about that kind of stuff, but it's pretty buggy. That being said, What's really interesting here, obviously, is Grand Theft Auto 6, which is something that is heavily rumored, right? There are tons and tons and tons of rumors out there around this game. Tons of actual leaks as well. We are literally expecting it to possibly be revealed as soon as this week. Although the game's, you know, as far as we're aware, isn't planned to release until sometime next year or the year after. But yeah, Grand Theft Auto 6, it's a big deal. Grand Theft Auto 5 is, you know, you know, slowly creeping towards 100 million in sales. This would be a really big get for Nintendo, especially if they can have this sort of announcement there with the announcement of Switch 2, right? If you can have Grand Theft Auto 6 packed in with it. Obviously, I think Grand Theft Auto 6 being announced before Nintendo Switch 2 is, but it is fascinating to imagine a world where Nintendo is getting that level of support. Like, if it's getting Grand Theft Auto 6, if it's getting Call of Duty, if it ends up getting the next Assassin's Creed game and everything in between, at this point, you should just... No longer be surprised when third-party games start getting announced for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, again, until Nintendo announces the platform, we're not going to see those announcements officially. But the point is, if this is true, and we have to treat this as a rumor, but if it is true, then damn. The, uh, the Nintendo Switch 2 is just going to have everything. And that's just a win for gaming and obviously a win for us Nintendo consumers. But that's not all Necrophilima Lipa had to say because why were people even asking him questions? Well, he put this out as well. And this had to do with ray tracing and all this stuff. He put this out on Fami boards. And he said, I've been informed by my sources several times before and after Gamescom that ray tracing will be a common thing on Switch Next Gen. And again, this is, you know literally backing up stuff that Nate the Hate said last week on his podcast. But he said a little bit more. They could choose to not use this in portable mode to avoid performance issues on certain titles. Yes, he phrased it as a question. You gotta remember, I don't think English is his native language, so sometimes he phrases things a bit weird. Anyways, but the consensus is, works well, will use. Applies to both DLSS and RR2. Now, the funny thing is, is... Ray Reconstruction RR is actually part of DLSS. DLSS is a suite, which includes Super Resolution, which we already kind of figured they were going to be using, and obviously Ray Reconstruction. It also includes Frame Generation, which is something that doesn't appear to be enabled on the system. I know people love Frame Generation on PC. I am a PC gamer, but 
Hey, having super resolution and ray reconstruction are wins. Having either one of those, let alone both, are wins for this platform and should make Nintendo Switch 2 have pretty impressive ray tracing support, which does simplify development for many game developers. So it actually is a good thing. And it just sounds like the more and more ray tracing is brought up, the more it sounds like a lot of developers are going to end up using it. And that's really the point. It's not, oh, is Nintendo going to start using ray tracing? Yeah. They might, but a lot of third-party games are finally starting to come around on using ray tracing, and you need to have a competent ability to support ray tracing. It does simplify development, and whether or not it's usable in handheld, obviously we don't know because it would be nice to have higher power draw, but hey, guys, it being usable even just in dock mode would be great, and obviously you can have a lesser lighting system in place when it's not, but man, I, I'm just really, really excited by this. And I do think that we need to remember that Nintendo and NVIDIA are trying to put together a platform that is not only good in the you know present day, but going to be good in the future as well. Nintendo Switch back in 2017 was using the best technology it could at that given time. And that's why it was the most powerful dedicated gaming handle. But technology has come a long way and companies have focused more on that dedicated handheld gaming space. That's why we're seeing AAA games pop up on iPhone and stuff. So I am willing to bet that when this comes out, it's again going to be the most powerful dedicated gaming handheld on the market, which is saying something considering all of the mobile PCs or handheld PCs out there. Now, that being said, we also need to get into the news on Mario Wonder because I'm having a wonderful time playing the game. Oh my gosh, it is quickly climbing as possibly my favorite side-scrolling Mario game of all time, just entering World 5. I am having a blast. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. You guys probably saw us do a super long opening live stream, you know, launch live stream back on Friday, but that's neither here nor there. Where I'm not here to tell you my opinions on the game. We could talk more about that maybe tonight on our live stream, but what I really want to dive into are sales data, and oh boy, Christopher Dring has some stuff to share on that over on X from the UK. He said, in the UK, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is the third biggest launch for a Mario platform in chart history. It is only very narrowly behind Super Mario Odyssey and Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Those are the two games ahead of it. Including digital sales may make it the biggest Mario game launch in UK history. And that's important to note. The physical sales in the UK, they're only tracking like that because Nintendo doesn't provide digital data. So digitally, it actually, you know, if you include digital and physical together, it could be not just the best-selling Mario of all time. It could be the best-selling game last week. But because digital is not included because Nintendo doesn't provide that data, Mario Wonder is behind Spider-Man 2 in terms of like best sales last week in the UK. But again, this is not including digital. Spider-Man 2 includes digital, you know, Mario doesn't. It's all because Sony provides digital data and Nintendo doesn't. It is what it is, but it doesn't really matter who's at the top. What it matters is how is the performance relative to other Mario games. Yeah, it's the fastest selling side-scrolling Mario game of all time. How about that? How about that it's literally just behind the pace of Mario Odyssey? Yeah, how about that? Mario Odyssey, the 25 million plus seller. Yeah, I think Mario Wonder is doing quite well for itself for not being a 3D Mario game. Of course, side-scrolling Mario games always tend to sell pretty well. And the crazy thing about side-scrolling Mario is it tends to be pretty evergreen. So it doesn't just get huge numbers at launch. It continues to sell for years into the future. So I can see Mario Wonder still be in this thing selling three years from now, even though we'll be well into the Nintendo Switch 2 era, because that's just what side-scrolling Mario games do. There'll probably be a re-release again on Switch 2 and stuff like that. So guys, I actually am pretty excited for the future of this game. I don't know if we'll get DLC or future content updates. We did get the Luigi stuff added to Mario Odyssey as a free update later. So we can't dismiss potentially new content or DLC down the line. But right now, I'm just really enjoying what I'm playing with Mario Wonder. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. And that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to get these this news out to you as quickly as I could. You guys are awesome and amazing. I thank you so much for tuning in during this you know, last full week of a spooky month. <laughs> no sorry sorry i can't help it guys okay i really love october it's my favorite month of the year you guys are awesome and i'll catch you in the next video